difficult to face? Um, what sort of your game plan going in? Because you guys are two and one against them. Um, so what do you think the keys will be for you guys? Hello, hello, good. Well, uh, I mean, playing the Bryans, it's, it's always uh, a great honor for us. Uh, they're the best team in the world right now. We just went and slam. Uh, they're playing the, in their hometown, not hometown, home country. And uh, it's going to be tough, like always. Uh, even though we have a positive record against them, playing together, we lost a few other times with different partners. So I think the key to the match is trying to be aggressive. I mean, doubles right now is just a it's very fast, uh, it's a fast game. So we're going to try to, to play our game the way we've been playing. Uh, we also had a good start. Marcelo won his first tournament. I won the, also my first tournament. And uh, we're feeling good. Court, uh, court is very nice. We like playing indoors. And uh, we're just looking forward for a great match. Tomas, uh, you've only played um, Isner twice, once in qualifying and once in the main draw, and you've never played against Sam. How do you assess uh, the matchups against those two players? Yeah, anyway, I, I know Sankari very well. I practice uh, uh, sometimes with him, so he's a very good player, especially in this kind of surface. He's he has a very good serve, very good forehand, so it'll be very tough to play against these, these both players. Can uh, you guys talk about the surface and how you found it, how it plays so far in practice? Well, uh, surface is um, so fast as uh, we were expecting. Not too slow, but um, uh, we also uh, used to play in this kind of surface. Our players are mm, much more uh, used to this kind of surface, so we improve in every day, in every practice, and uh, we're expecting a great performance on the weekend. Could you guys, uh, Thomas, maybe start with you, talk about what it's going to be like to have the crowd be pulling for the U.S. team. How much of an advantage uh, is that, especially indoors? Yeah, it's always a good advantage when you're playing uh, your own country with uh, all the crowd. And uh, I don't know uh, how it's going to be for the, for the matches, if it's going to be uh, full stadium or not, but Anyway, we need to, to be very focused on the match and try not to uh, uh, think about the crowd and just think about the match and uh, how we, uh, we need to, to play for in the, in the matches. Answer the same thing? Yeah, it's not five. I think it's going to be, like Thomas told, is. Uh, of course, when you play in your country, so you have you have that advantage. But but we we got, we have our team here too, so we have our staff, so we can we can stay together. So and we're gonna we're gonna fight with our our weapons. Uh, for me, as Thomas said, we, when you play uh, when you play out at home, it's a bit different. But uh, it's good. I think if there is, you need to see about uh, how you get energy from them to you, not against you. So here probably is going to be the same. I think it's going to be full because they are playing good as well as we do. So I hope to get positive energy against them. Well, uh, I like to play away. I think it's nice. Uh, I think it's good advantage when you play home, especially in Brazil because they're very loud. So I don't know how loud they're going to be here, but I think it's nice also to play away. It's just a different feeling. It's going to be a lot of Brazilians here, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be loud. So we're going to have something to, to look for and, and to cheer us up. And uh, I think it's going to be a, a great weekend. You really think there are going to be a lot of people from your country here and, and supporters from your country? Well, I don't know a lot in terms of numbers, but I know uh, in terms of being loud.
loud for sure because <laughs> they like to to be involved in the match and uh, usually like to, to scream and, and go with the team so for sure you guys are gonna hear them a lot <laughs>